Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another week of Premier League predictions. Right, before we get started, this video is sponsored by Tear Bear Printing. I should be selling my merch very, very soon. Go and make sure you click on that link and purchase and we can use the word sport as it's spelled on your screen and get 10% off the purchase price. And also, just in case you don't know, I have got a Call of Duty channel up and running. Um, we're on the road to a thousand kills. Episode one is up now and it's available for you to watch. And also, episode two will be up sometime next week. But anyway, guys, let's get straight into this video. So, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Give us a little big thumbs up if you enjoy it. And let's go. So, the first game we're going to talk about is Crystal Palace versus Liverpool. Crystal Palace on the one side of things is. You know, I ain't playing too badly. I think they got three points this midweek just gone. But, you know, going up against the Liverpool side, that did beat Tottenham. 2-1, uh, I think the final score was. Uh, but, you know, we've all got this moan about Klopp. He's about moaning about making five changes. And he did not make one change within that Tottenham game. But, you know, it's up to him. And I don't see why he's complaining. I really don't. Um, all... Clubs have got to put up with a lot of games. I know, you know, a lot comes down to, you know, health and that. And I see the point in that. But not being, you know, too arrogant or big-headed. That's what I get paid to do. I would, I would get paid 30 grand a week to kick a football. Let's go back to the game anyway. I'm going to go for a Liverpool win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Liverpool win. My next one is Southampton versus Manchester City. Southampton draw into Arsenal. I did watch a bit of their game this big week against Arsenal. I thought they were very good. Um, you know, probably maybe deserved the three points, but didn't quite get there. But, you know, it's a good point for Southampton. Manchester City, on the other hand, could really, you know, I can't quite remember where I got in this big week, but... You know, they could probably learn a thing or two um, about the seed table because, you know, it's only really just started to plan out. But, you know, going forward to this game, I'm going to go for a Southampton win again, I think. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Everton versus Arsenal. Can't quite remember how Everton got in this midweek. There's so much football in one kick off time it, it's hard to keep up to date with it all i do try my best but you know sometimes it does fail you know going up against the last side that did draw to southampton what i just mentioned everton are a bit maybe slightly a bit better than southampton sorry for southampton fans for saying that but i'm gonna go for an everton win much needed everton win as well and i'm gonna go for a three lines three one score line for that one my next one is Newcastle versus Fulham. How did Newcastle get on? I can't quite remember that one either. I, I knew... I think Crystal... Eh, I'm trying to remember how Newcastle got on. can't remember. Let's move on. Uh, going up against Fulham, who drawed against Brighton. Now, from a Brighton perspective, and a Brighton fan, which is what I am, and it's where I'm from, that game... On a Fulham end, I don't think it's too bad to then, you know, the couple of days before they played Liverpool at Craver Cottage and then he got a win as well. That's not, you know, underestimate Fulham in any way. Going up against the Newcastle side. Now, Fulham are going to be looking for the points again, but I do think Newcastle will just win this one just about by a 2 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Brighton versus Sheffield United. Now, I just mentioned. A little bit about the Brighton Fulham game. I'm going to mention it a bit more. Brighton on the one end of the, you know, playing Fulham, they had a good 20 minute spell. And that's about it. The other bits of the game, I think Fulham could maybe pinch it. But, you know, it could have well, probably gone Brighton as well. As well. And let, let's not forget, I did have a goal disallowed. Rightly, a uh, right decision by VAR and that's coming from a Brighton fan myself. And, you know, fair enough, Danny Welbeck did handball it before kicking it to the liner. And, as I said, by rights, 
it was disallowed goal. So, you know, I'm not saying it when it should have been a disallowed goal, it should have been a disallowed goal. So, Sheffield United, on the other hand, just lost to United as I'm recording this, and basically, you know, with Sheffield United losing 3 2 at home to Man United, I didn't watch any of the game, but you look at the result, and I think. You know, this game really is a dogfight for the relegation zone. Brighton are not in it yet, but they could be if this weekend goes one way for them. Sheffield United, I'm going to go for a very boring nil-nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Tottenham versus Leicester. Tottenham loses to Liverpool and, you know, by a Robert Firmino goal. Can't quite remember how Leicester got, and I think they played Everton, but I can't quite remember what the scoreline was. But anyway, going back to Tottenham, they're going to be looking for three points. They're going to need the three points after losing to Liverpool. So I'm going to go for a Tottenham win, and I'm going to go for a 2-0 Tottenham win. My next one is Manchester United versus Leeds United. I can't quite, I think Leeds drew. I think they might have been... Yeah, I think these played Newcastle and I think they drew it. But obviously, two clubs that really, you know, got their own bit of rivalry between them. Leagues are one of these teams that can turn up one week and then not turn up the next. Man United bouncing off a 3-2 Sheffield United win, but don't look offensively by what I've seen. So I'm going to go for... Um, Man United win just about, and I'm going to go for a 1 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is West Bromwich Albion versus Aston Villa. West Bromwich Albion, um, Village has been sacked earlier this week, and you know, it brought Sam Allardyce in. Great shout from West Brom. I do think that Sam Allardyce could do the job of getting them out of that relegation zone. So going up against the Villa side this weekend. Who just literally drawn to Burnley and Villa were at home. So they're going to be looking for a little bit less confidence than what they should, probably should have been. But anyway, they go on. Going for the you know first game in charge uh, spectrum where a lot of managers seem to win their first game in charge. So I'm going to stick up for a West Brom win. And I'm going to stick up for a 2-1 West Brom win. My next one is Burnley versus Wolverhampton. Now, as I said earlier in this video, if uh, all the results go against Brighton, they can end up in the re relegation zone. Not so we I'm happy to say, uh, being a Brighton fan, but, you know, we can't hide from the matter and we can't hide from the truth and stats don't lie, unfortunately. But, you know, going up against a good um, Wolverhampton side this weekend. Wolverhampton... I can't quite remember how they've got on either. Literally, my memory comes to a blank sometimes. But, you know, Burnley got a probably look up confidence from that uh, draw against Villa. I don't think Villa and Wolverhampton are that too far apart, you know, in reality either. But I think Burnley will try and go for the point in this one. I think they might just about not do it. And I'll go for a 3 1 Wolverhampton win for that one. My last one for this weekend is Chelsea versus West Ham. Chelsea, I can't quite remember I've got on either. But anyway, I know um, West Ham, uh, you know, striker Sebastian, I think his first name Sebastian, sorry if I'm, you know, got it wrong completely, but, you know, they had a great goal uh, at right at the death, I don't think it's too long before the um, last of, you know, uh, final time. But anyhow, you know, two London clubs, both teams got to go at it. I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, obviously this is my last possibly football upload uh, to after Christmas. So guys, I hope you have a very happy Christmas. You know, I know it ain't been the year that we wanted it to be, but we've got to move on. Hopefully looking forward to a brighter 2021. But anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. So, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Cheer off now.